So idea is that how we can create the bubble chart. So for that we need to select at least one dimension and one measure. And let's say we select region and sales, which will show us in which region we are doing more sales. And we open this show me palette and we select this bubble chart. So requirement is for bubble chart one or more dimension, one or two measures. So we have selected the minimum requirement, which is one dimension, one measure. Let's go ahead and create it. And very easily you can see that you have central, east, south and west these four basically regions there. Now let's try to make it little or adjust it a little bit. So for example, uh, region is good, but let's say we want to expand it and we want to use the state. So I will just uh, expand it over, click over here as it is part of a hierarchy, which has been created previously. So I can use it like this or I can simply remove this entire piece and suppose I don't have the hierarchy I can just go ahead and select some this uh, state as a color and remove country let me do that and here I have the information now if you hover your mouse over to the bu bubbles you can get the state name and sales but let's say you want to get the state name over the bubbles then you can get it like just dragging the state on the label. Similarly, if you want sales information on the label, you can get it. But let's say you are getting already state and sales information here and you want to get the from probably profit on displayed on this bubbles, then you can get profit along with the sales. And within the tooltip, you are getting the information about this, this particular piece. Now the thing is state is basically a third level hierarchy you have country region and then state so what you can do is probably you can make region as a filter and try selecting it so i've just dragged the region from from this palette to filter scar and i can select central let's say for example and click ok and here now i have much more better filtered information uh, let's say i want to change it just go there and edit filter and I can select East and remove this and click OK. So that's how very easily I can, you know, uh, further drill down if, if let's say for example, all of this is a kind of a cluttered and a lot of information present to me, I can filter it down with the help of the filters which are given to us. There is a lot of information, a lot of uh, tuning that you can do, uh, which is about sorting and uh, changing the labels and all that sort of stuff which uh, probably I will tell you in the upcoming videos more when the situation will arrive. But uh, the basic idea for this video is to how to create it first of all and then adjusting its properties a little bit. Uh, the last thing I would like to cover is basically the, the bubble size. Currently it is shown by here sum of sales. But uh, if you want something else, let's say uh, sum of quantity or maybe profit or discount earlier that we had where we are giving the more discount we can get it like this and that shows us where we are giving more discount and accordingly the profit is coming and you can get your bubble chart adjusted the way you want according to your requirement or you can play around with it and see which one is fit, fitting your requirement better so that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in the quick video about how you can create and adjust a bubble chart and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.